so far we have copy pasted the located face, the detected and located face on the image into the extracted face uh, bitmap variable. Now how about if I say that on our Windows form I want to add a picture box somewhere here and I want to save those extracted faces to some area, area of extracted faces and using two buttons uh, previous and next I want to navigate through all the faces uh, all the extracted faces in that array so instead of I don't want to save my uh, extracted faces in any folder in any uh, drive or hard, uh, in my hard disk I just want to view it over here so for that what are we supposed to do one we are supposed to add picture box and two buttons so let's add those we need two buttons and a picture box there okay let's set their properties I will like to call it PB extracted faces to show the extracted faces this button place one here and place another here call button one as BDN previous to navigate to a previous uh, to a face in one to an index less one less than the index current index that is to view a previous image at a previous index in the extracted faces area and denoted by this letter the previous similarly this button goes for the next image and we change the name to BDN next okay we need to change two more properties of the picture box. One is border style. Set it to fixed single so that it is so that the picture box is actually viewable on the boundary, the border of the picture box. We can see it on the Windows form. The other is the size mode. So when the picture loads, do you want to stretch it according to the size of the picture box or not? Yeah, I usually like it. I like to see the whole picture in the small picture box, whether it's big or small. It just stretches and fits to the picture box size. Okay, now that we have these ready, let's go back to the code. And first off, go and create a global variable. Global variable that is an array uh, that can hold extracted faces. So since our extracted phase is of type bitmap, I'm going to create a bitmap array called the extracted faces, the ext faces. And I'm going to create an integer, an index number to iterate through these uh, through this array to view those faces that it holds by using the previous and next buttons. I would like to call it face number and I'll set it to zero initially. Now scroll back to where we were extracting our faces. There. And right here we are going to uh, put this extracted face, this one, into the array we just created. So every time this word loop I trades every face that is being located and marked on the image that has been extracted will be put into the extracted faces array at the index face number face number remember in the first iteration will be zero is equal to extracted face and remember to increment the index number of where to save your next extracted face. But there is one tiny thing we're missing. 
how long what is the length of this this array extract total extracted faces we never mentioned it we have to mention it before the loop can start so just before the loop 